where are we at this morning? We are in Montana and we are not too far from Yellowstone Park and uh, Coulter, my 11 year old, drew a buffalo tag. So we've put together a pretty good team and we've got, what, nine horses? Nine horses and mules and we're going in super light. We're gonna get saddled up here in the next hour and we've probably got a four or five hour ride, maybe 12 to 15 miles. And then uh, we'll scout for Buffalo tonight with Coulter and then tomorrow morning is opening day. When our kids were born, my wife and I agreed that we would give them every opportunity we could to hunt with them. We've always known that memories made on our family hunts will stay with us forever. True to our promise, we've managed to hunt all over the West under all types of circumstances. However, of all my family hunts I had planned in the past, my 11-year-old son Coulter's bison hunt made me the most nervous. We were about to embark on a 15-mile hunting trip into Montana's wilderness that was filled with risks, from renting additional pack horses to grizzly bears and everything in between. I knew that being prepared with good gear, good horses, and good friends were going to be the key to having a fun, safe, and successful hunt with my son. As we left the trailhead and started into the wilderness, the rhythm of the horse's hooves and the squeaking of the saddles fueled my excitement for this true once in a lifetime hunt with my son. Well, we made it. it. Took a lot longer than we thought. That's always the way it is, but Buffalo sign all over camp. Hopefully we'll wake up and shoot one right here in the morning. Hey Dad, I'm gonna go wash my hands in the creek. Look at what he found. Where were you guys? We walked over there to try to find those other people and he's like, Dad, can I take this? Dude! Right on! That's a big one. Look at the front's on that. Wow. That's a Boone and Crockett moose. Flip let's it around. on the other side. I marked it for you. Yeah, Coulter, let's go find that thing. I could have sworn I just heard a bison go over there. You were not joking. Yeah, buddy. They're fibers. Six of them. They're all bulls. Yeah. Shane just spotted a bunch of buffalo. They're literally a couple hundred yards from camp. It's five or six bulls. There's some smoke. So, there's a bison right next to camp. Okay. Tabano, you gonna go find one? I hope. No, that's a yes. <laughs> you got a good team here assembled. Borderline A team. I bring it down a little bit. Apologies.
Let's go through the white here for a little bit and then maybe hunt our way down the valley and see anything else that's out there. Saddling the horses or just walking it out? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I'm kind of waiting to see if they just poke their heads up. I mean, they could be like right here still. Well, that's the thing. Are they bedding in the willows or are they bedding up in the timber? Right. No way. You could actually come in here and shoot an elk on the 15th of September. That elk is right there. Yeah, there's a bull right over here. There's a couple bulls over here. Don't tell anyone that. There's cow. And there's a cow running right there. You can see her out in the meadow. Oh yeah, look at that. See, is that a bull running across? No, it was a cow. Really? I, I figured there was a bull with her, but she's running like she's spooked. Someone's chasing her. Or a bull's chasing her. Yeah. I if I was a big old nasty bull, though, I'd be right up in that thing. Nasty big old hole. If I could see everybody coming up there. There's the bull. He's a nice bull. You can see him right now. He's got that white patch, right? Yeah, that's it. Ah, she's so bright. Wait till dark when they come out. What? 100%. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go here. Okay. Good. All right. All right, good luck. I could just see the elk just a second ago. He's right on the elk. Yeah, he's right on the elk. Right in there on him. There's a big single bull buffalo down there. Right now. He's right there. So we better go get him. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was there was two bull elk down there. They just was in two tall willows to get a shot at him, but it's fun. Good time. <laughs> Saw you running around down there, yeah. looked like you were having fun. Yeah. Oh, big bull buffalo. oh so yeah, he's down there, there. Um, but it's a nasty spot and he's just feeding right there so let's go take a look at him how far two miles oh, oh that's not bad you want me to stay and load pack the horses i mean going down there without horses down is... i'm thinking if right now if we just grab some gear let's just go down go down him. there and come back and get horses. Yeah. Because okay. honestly, if we get down there and start breaking them apart, a couple guys work on that, a couple guys come, can come and get, come back and get pack horses. horses and pack them up closer. Slow squeeze. 
Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Good job, buddy. That's where you wanted to hit him. Perfect. Dad, I broke the... <laughs> it's okay. I already broke it. Good job, son. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That oh, bull is way better than the bulls over there. Did you see the He massive. looks like a dinosaur. He looks like he's older than you. Oh. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the end button. Oh, my God. If you didn't get that on camera. I'm like looking at you. <laughs> How far in are we? 15 miles? Oh, oh no. Yes. Probably closer to 20. Hey, yeah. Hey, mom. 20 here. Hey, yeah. I just shot a giant buffalo with one shot. What? He dropped with, right after I shot, he dropped down and he still hasn't gotten up. No way, nice job. And he's, they said he's like a dinosaur, he's ancient. What a crazy day. Well, he better not be bigger than mine or I'll be jealous. He's way bigger. <laughs> he is? Yeah. Well, the meat better be good too or else I'm going to kick you out of the house. It's old. <laughs> yeah, it's older than Coulter is. Oh, well that's not. Tough to beat. <laughs> <laughs> if it was older than your dad, then it would definitely be a dinosaur. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> my God, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord, dude, that's the coolest buffalo I've ever seen. It's so big. <laughs> Can I feel it? Uh, oh my gosh, I can't even fit both my hands around it. He only has any teeth in the front. You need two teeth to age him, or you can use only two teeth, and he only has one. The other's gone. That's how old he is. All right, we better try to flip him before he stiffens up. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. He has a back up. Holy oh, go! Oh. Are you kidding? Oh, Dude, that's the biggest hump I've ever seen. Oh man, before. look at that. Oh my gosh. What? Oh, I have garbage in the I middle mean, of the fire later. Four feet. <laughs> it's just awesome to watch them. Buffalo oh, don't my. usually do no, that. No, never. And did him a favor. I yeah. mean, that he was old. You see yeah, every he rib is spine and like. Oh. Oh. Inside, right? yeah. The front too. Dad, I think it's time for my Twix. <laughs> <laughs> man, you're gonna have some new Harley. You could have every old. tag. Oh in the country from now on. I don't know if you could kill one that was any bigger and cooler than this one. Now, we're gonna put it with the back chunk that's got the evidence of sex on it. Montana went to Montana went to paper tags this year and they get wet, they just fall apart. So hopefully this works. Okay, so let's flip it towards you. Up top towards me, sorry. We'll spend this evening just paddle hunting. I'm gonna paddle down There's the river. There's two more big bull buffalo right here. Are you serious? Yeah. Grab my bino sculptor. So we were sitting there and two of us were working, cutting on buffalo. I think someone was skipping rocks. Was that you? Yes. Yeah, we seen a bunch of guys walking down the creek and there's only five buffalo tags in this unit. We knew there was another guy around here and uh, we watched them kill their buffalo. How many times did they shoot? Eight. Eight. Eight shots and it was still standing. So, but they take a lot of lead. So. He went and drove the road right by them. 
Oh, that wasn't their pack string. That was. That's ours. So yeah, it's kind of a maze to get through there. Yeah, what did these guys have to say? I said, uh, I said, kind of hard to get them down. The guy was like, man, I just can't get him. <laughs> and he turns and blood's running down his face. I'm like, oh. It was a rodeo, man. They were all running all over. Well, I was just coming through the trees and the shooting started, and I was like, was well, it grizzly? You know, because it sounded like right here, and I was like, what the heck? And then I could see the orange going through the trees, and I said, ah, they're after another one. Huh. Coulter, I mean, he did a phenomenal job. One shot to just pile them up. You should have said that, be like, yeah, our 11 year old just rolled by one shot. <laughs> Here, one, two, three, smile. It's like a fruit by the foot you just... Come here, you're gonna pack Don't this one back. back. Got it? Yep. All right, bud, we'll see you in a little bit. Yep. Man, it's a good day to have horses. Yes, it is. Are you gonna pack them back on your back? Uh -uh. That's a horse job. Look at that. That's so crazy. Oh, oh. that just came out. I didn't even do that. I, mean, I bet his teeth hurt so bad. Let's try that. I'll walk up the hill and you look at what it looks like. Pretty good. Didn't have to adjust it at all. He's no. a stud, man. What are you thinking? 80 pounds? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'd have to weigh him. Don't even try, dude. You're not that good at it. If you can't put full effort into it, just don't try. What happened this morning? What? Oh, Jimmy Crickets. <laughs> God dang it. You forget I'm a camera guy. I know. Um, well, this morning we got left behind, I think. Um, woke up, daylight out, well after daylight, uh, to a gunshot just right behind camp where we heard the bulls beagling last night. So they probably got it done. And uh, I guess we're the pack meals today. So we'll see how it goes here shortly. I got left this morning. Do we have a bulls down or what? 50-50. Shane went up the mountain and was going to hunt the band of cliffs down and drop back to camp. And we were had hunted down and made a big loop and were coming back and heard a gunshot below the cliffs. So Shane shot. The cool thing is we got to drop these packs and I want to show you guys something. We skirted the timber on the way back and we found a Forest Service plaque and gravesite. In like 1915, there was a guy killed by a grizz. No way. And chewed up in his graves there. But it's a cool story. We gotta walk over and look at it. Heck yeah. yeah. Uh, it's really history, man. Guy killed by a grizzly 400 yards from our camp. Hmm. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Big shooter, you got blood on your hand. I walked right in to him, bedded at about 40 yards. They jumped up. And I heard the shot. It was like boom, boom. Well, <laughs> it was him. 40 yards. I mean, it was in the thick trees, and I, I seen them going, and then they all stopped because the wind was good, and they didn't know exactly what it was, and so they stopped, and and so I was just boom, and he, I mean, he just took off. He ran about 50, 60 yards and tipped over, but it was, yeah, it, was it was that bull from 
yesterday that was in the spot scope. Oh, the one from oh. yesterday that we... Oh, yeah. nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, but it's so pretty in there. I mean, is it's he like up on the mountain or is he on the flat? I couldn't tell where you're at. You see where the black timber turns to looks like tundra? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I don't think we're getting out today. No, I think we need it tomorrow morning. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. He passed on that bull yesterday basically to to let us kill that bull buffalo with the boy and worked out for him. Got to kill him this morning, so. I would have used a lot bigger chain, no doubt. <laughs> Amazing what you find in the native of mountains. Man, he had a journey and a half. Could you imagine that? Coming here in the 1800s and ending up in this valley, slinging bullets with Theodore yeah. Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got him! Dude, hell yeah! He's out to the east end. Did you get him? Good job. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, he'll be fine. We'll get him up. Look how pretty he is, though. He is so pretty. That's what I've seen. I mean, nice just, work, killer. Thanks, man. Team effort. Look at that, Brady. <laughs> that is awesome. I mean, that's what you call beautiful. Building. It's cool. Yeah. Look at his friggin' fist. I know. I mean, that back end is so nice. Well, Jeez. I yesterday. Look how this when we down. seen him yeah. through the spot and scope, and I seen those backs. I was like, ah, oh, he's big. Yeah, big <laughs> enough, dude. <laughs> That is awesome. One, two, three, big smiles. Colter, smile. <laughs> that is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. What yeah, a day. So <laughs> what a hunt. It don't get any better than this. These, no. these are the few hunts. Oh, you call their big old smile. <laughs>Better get some more sticks there, son. So I'm gonna literally, when these boys are all in their 20s and just studs, yeah. I'm gonna go in a hole and I'm gonna shoot a cow and I'm gonna give them the GPS coordinates and say, go get it. Go get it. No horse help. Go get that cow. Every time when I was a kid, I just shot stuff where it, where it needed to shoot. Yeah. Yep. My dad, he would just, <laughs> son, don't you ever think how we're gonna get this out of here? I said, no. <laughs> no. And I was up there on the mountain get looking and I was like, wow, could have been worse, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> could always been a lot worse. What a 48 hours, man. 
heck yeah. <laughs> I don't, I mean, it's pretty been pretty good. We haven't had a lot of slack time. No, not a lot of slack time. <laughs> That's okay though. It is the last morning. I mean, that's, that's a possibility because if Coulter <laughs> shoots a bull, I mean, who the frick knows where we're going to have to end up. Was it, was it yesterday the last morning? Yeah. yeah. And then what happened? Well, when it gets Sunday and it's the last morning, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> You gotta lift it off the ground. There. 83. That ain't bad. That's a side. That's a, low, that's a side. Okay. So, so the other hind is right. <laughs> Robert, your son's over there trying to call in an elk while we're trying to pack up. Yes. He just roared right there. So we are literally oh trying to get packed or divvying And he lines. heard it too, so and, he's calling at him again. And we've heard this one bull bugling this morning, and he's out in the field trying to call a man. Yeah. And he just he's, like, he's, he's like right here. <laughs> <laughs> he's getting louder because you know what? If he calls it in, we'll, we can make two trips. Yeah. Like, well, <laughs> <laughs> I swear it's going to come. This is why I only take one Hanneman boy hunting at a time, because there's no way all of us could handle three of them at once. As you see, that's one. Times that by three and that's my life. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, go, go ahead and start. Did you cut my rope? Yep. Had this rope since I was a kid. Yeah. Good things have to come to an end sometime. I think we're good. Somebody else's yeah. buffalo head. <laughs> right through the tree. You don't get many hunts like this in a lifetime. In the moments, it feels special, but when you look back on the memories, it feels incredible. Whoa. I was lucky enough to share these moments with my son and three good friends, and to top it off, we were able to capture it on video and share it. I'm not one to get too sentimental or dramatic, but this truly was the hunt of a lifetime. These moments in the field, they stay with you forever. Although Coulter may not fully appreciate what it means yet, as time goes on, I know he will. We made her? Barely. <laughs> it was adventure from start to finish, for sure. You, you know what, and I think you might start uh, putting on clinics about horse whispering because I mean, you're as good as I've ever seen. I mean, I've, I've been listening to you whisper to this horse the whole way out. Yeah, and I'm still getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. Hey, hey, you're okay. Would you chill? What are you doing? Hey, you son of a What side's his head? Watch out behind you, watch out behind you. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty slick. 